Another night of violence in what's become, in recent days, the most frequent point of friction in the occupied West Bank. Israeli troops sealed off the village of Burqa. Villagers threw rocks and burned tires. The military said shots were fired in the area. Soldiers fired live ammunition, rubber-coated steel bullets and tear gas into the crowd. By Sunday, quiet had returned, but after days of what people here call unprecedented levels of attacks by Israeli settlers. Local activist Hani describes how on Thursday night, settlers descended from the nearby illegal outpost of Homesh, vandalizing a cemetery before moving on to the village itself. Homes were stoned, with alerts going out that dozens of settlers were attempting to get into houses. Arafat Salah says this level of threat against the village is something new. I've been sitting up till morning in case they come back. They are out of control. No government controls them. No army controls them. They attack you anywhere. Earlier on Thursday, thousands of settlers gathered in a mass rally at the entrance to Homesh to mark a week since the killing of Yehuda Dementman. He was shot as he left the outpost in an attack attributed to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad armed faction. On Sunday, soldiers continued to guard the entrance. Israel was supposed to have withdrawn from here in a 2005 disengagement plan, but a religious seminary has operated with military protection ever since. Since the shooting, settlers have repeatedly fought with soldiers as they've tried to erect new structures within Homesh. They're calling for the outpost to be formalized once more. The military closures in recent days have happened when there have been large numbers of settlers threatening the village. But villagers we've spoken to say that the soldiers are here to ensure the safety of those settlers. When it comes to protecting Burqa from attack, they say they're on their own. The shooting 10 days ago has led to reprisal attacks across the West Bank, but it's here in Burqa where the threat has been most concentrated and most constant. The village remains on alert. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, in the occupied West Bank.